the first weekend in no, it's, yeah, it's the first weekend of November. November 5th. Yeah, and we wanted to film just kind of a day in the life, Sunday reset, just us getting ready for the upcoming week, and recovering from the last week, and yeah, that's what this vlog is about today. Yeah, just a little Sunday reset, you know, get prepared for this coming week, and you know, we get to take you on that, that journey with us. Yeah, we just came off a little bit of travel. I've been gone for a week. Ricky's been gone for the last couple of days. Um, so the house is a mess. We need to clean up the house. We have to go grocery shopping, stock up and do some uh, some meal prepping mm -hmm. and cooking. Um, so that's on the agenda. Got to pick up Zora from boarding. That's on the agenda. And then, um, I don't know, a few other things on the list. Um, just to prep for the week. We gotta, you know, do our finances, get back on track as far as money's concerned. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so wanted to give y'all a little peek into what our Sundays are like and uh, hope that you enjoy. Did want to give you guys a little bit of a peek of um, what we've been using lately to keep our life together. So this is Notion. Um, we have the desktop at, app on my computer and then we also have the app on our phones and iPads but we've picked up on like how all the other folks are keeping up with their lives using this like second brain method and Notion has been really helpful for us to organize our day-to-day -day, our finances our chores you see this is our like main page with just our weekly agenda but right now we're going to use it for our meal prepping our meal planning which includes like our daily um, menu and then everything from the menu actually pulls into a grocery shopping list that we'll use and take to the store with us later so I really like Notion um, still trying to figure out how to make the most out of it because it's kind of it's a it's a little bit not advanced maybe more moderate for tech users but I enjoy it um, a lot so yeah. Yeah. I do this when Ricky's on the phone, on his phone all the time, not paying t attention. So we don't have quite a full week here in Atlanta. Um, we're only home until Thursday. So um, we only need a meal plan through Thursday. I am definitely making red beans and rice uh, today. I've been in New Orleans for the last week and I'm still uh, on my plant-based journey at the moment. And the whole time I was in New Orleans, I did not touch meat. It was pretty much plant-based the whole time. I did have a little dairy here and there and it was a struggle. It was like my biggest test, but I've told myself if I could overcome New Orleans on a plant-based diet, then I can overcome anything. You know, I've grown up on Cajun food my whole entire life. It was all that I knew for the most part, seafood especially. And uh, it was very hard for me, but I made it. However, comma, I wanted red beans and rice. I couldn't find places <clears throat> that actually made red beans and rice that I could eat. So I'm just going to do it myself today. So that's definitely on the meal plan. Red beans and rice for dinner, probably some vegan cornbread which is pretty easy to make. And then we also, um, Ricky and I went to a Thai restaurant on Friday and they had this green curry soup that I really, really loved with eggplant, mushrooms, and onion in it. So I wanna try to make that. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna look up the ingredients in the recipe. Um, what else, babe? What else should we have this week? We need something for Taco Tuesday. <clears throat> Every Tuesday we try to eat tacos, burritos, or something. We can do like street taco style and then get some guacamole or something. Or make guacamole. So some vegan street tacos. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the same thing I did last week with chickpeas and all that? What was that? That was... Grilled onions, grilled bell peppers. Oh yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Okay. What else? Uh, put some stuff down for guacamole. 
Definitely probably some protein, probably like a couple of fillets of salmon. For you, not for me. Yeah. And that's, that should be it. I'm good with that. So we need, so we got something for Monday, to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Red beans, Thai food. Mexican for Tuesday. And then just salad stuff. Stuff to make and a salad. Salad kits or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so we got to talk about groceries um, and how expensive they are, but that's probably for another day. I'm excited because we just spent less than $150 on a week's worth of groceries, which is an enormous achievement. That's good for us. That's very, very good for us. Yeah, like it's been difficult to come under $200, but we're, we just technically spent less than $150 which is huge and gives us more money to like do other things and that's like the big outcome that I want but groceries are expensive I will say we're spending a lot less on meat because I'm plant based Ricky's what Kim Kardashian calls a flex vegan he still eats meat <laughs> um, I don't know what I am because like I, I really I don't really <laughs> eat a lot of red meat anymore and I don't really eat a lot of chicken it's my, my main protein has been just seafood for the mm-hmm. most part yeah either way i'm not labeling it or anything yeah but the bill is coming down the grocery bill is coming down and i think we're also more strategic about what we buy in the grocery store like i showed y'all the meal prepping or meal planning that we did in notion earlier like that's how we are making sure we're not over spending we're not buying things that we don't need like ricky thinks that i when i make dinner i make way too much so this is true cutting down portions and only buying enough to portion out what we can consume in a given three or four days is another way that we're saving money. So, because like I'm making red beans and rice today, I can make red beans and rice for a whole family uh, of like with kids and everything, but mm-hmm. it's just two of us, so I don't need to do that. I need to keep that in mind. So, so yeah. Anyway, headed up over to Wagalot to pick up Zora, which is where she boards whenever we go out of town. So, yep, we'll see you on a bit. Before we get Zora, we're going to stop and get something to eat at Indian Street Food for lunch. Because what else do you do? Ooh, wait, let me see. What you just got? <laughs> what else do you do after you spend a hundred dollars on groceries? You go and buy food. Let's pick up Zora. Your 
finally back at home. I just unpacked some of the groceries and stuff. And so now, <laughs> now the fun part. We're about to clean up, about to prep this food. And yeah, we really need to clean up. It needs to be like a, a deep clean, honestly. But um, yeah, so we're clean up. We're gonna get organized and we're gonna prep this food. I'm really excited for these red beans too. I cannot wait. I haven't had good red beans in a minute and Alex makes amazing red beans. So yeah, let's get started. Like I said earlier, I was in New Orleans all week and I couldn't have red beans and rice like I really wanted to. Because most of the restaurants that serve it, they had already cooked it in pork or in some type of, you know, meat. But I can make red beans and rice at home. I mean, I do it all the time. I was raised on it. I was raised on how to cook it and make it taste really great. So just switching up a few things, basically just using plant-based butter instead of regular butter and excluding the meat. Rick is gonna have some pork sausage with his. I'm gonna just have meatless red beans, um, which is fine. And yeah, so red beans and rice. I mean, I already chopped up my onion, um, white onion here, and then about to do the salad and the green bell peppers, and that is your, what? What is it called? Paul Cleese. What? Trinity. Your Cajun Trinity. Good job, Ricky. Um, yeah, and then we gotta get these red beans boiling like soon. And we're not soaking the red beans. Typically you would soak the red beans all night, but we were late getting our day started and we didn't have red beans already in the house so we had to go out and get some. So what we're gonna do is just kind of uh, just make sure that they're cooked for quite a few hours so that they can be nice and creamy um, whenever we're ready to eat. So, so yeah, red beans on the way. reached the point in the day where we have spent money but we haven't budgeted anything so <laughs> we bought groceries we did buy lunch and we know how to account for that but now we have to actually set up our weekly budget so Ricky and I budget on a weekly basis um, we don't plan out the whole month um, we get paid every week um, so that just makes more sense for us because that way we can account for every single amount of income that we get mm -hmm. and um so yeah so on sundays we try to make sure that we map out the whole week ahead based off of how much money we have that we're carrying over yada 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 we use the zero based budgeting method works best for our household mostly for our joint finances so um the best app to help us with that is ynab the you need a budget app which i have on we have on our ipads um 
and it's like fourteen ninety nine a month or whatever. You do pay a monthly fee to link your accounts and all of that. But it's we started using this about three months ago, and it has helped us meet some pretty ambitious like spending goals and savings goals. So yes, totally recommend this method, especially you know between the both of us, we have a lot of money like going out and needing to be dedicated to specific projects and other things. So, so yeah, so if you're ever interested in like an actual like budgeting video of like how to do that as a couple, like how we manage finances as a married couple, you know, that's something that we thought about talking about, would you say? Yeah, I mean, I, I personally think we still have a couple kinks to work out for our budget, but I mean, we're getting the hang of it. This is, um, has it been a month? It's been more than a month. No, like three months. Yeah. We started this about three. We started in September. And it's November now. Yeah. So yeah. we're still, we're getting the hang of it, but there are still a couple of kinks that we need to work out as far as just like random fees coming out and where to yeah. categorize those. Yeah. Like one of the main things that we had to knock out when we first started this method of budgeting was accounting for all of the subscription services and canceling a whole bunch of shit because we would look at our bank account and have random automatic withdrawals from subscriptions that we didn't even know that we were that we had access to so we needed to cancel all of those um we had to figure out where we could cut back you know where we could benefit from certain deals so for example like netflix we were paying twenty dollars for netflix a month and it turns out through my job um, or through T-Mobile, if you have a Magenta Max plan, you only pay six ninety nine for their high def 4K, ultra 4K Netflix subscription. So that was like, so things like that are what we've been trying to get a handle on over the last few months. Um, and as we're getting into the holidays, it's been really helpful because now we have like good savings and things like that heading into I would say some of the most expensive months of our lives. So, um, so yeah. So now we're gonna sit down, talk money, reconcile our budget. Um, and the way we do this is we just go through all of the most recent day's expenses, make sure that they're accounted for in our YNAB, and then adjust where necessary, um, so we know how much money we have left to spend for the rest of the week. And next week is. This is important right now because next week we're going on another trip that's going to be pretty pricey. What would you say, Ricky, like what are the like three things, what are three principles that you say we need to have when doing money management together? Three principles? Like what are the three most important things to keep in mind? Or what uh, would you say, or if you, if you don't know three, like what's one? I would definitely put our lifestyle into consideration, um, especially for us. We like to, along with cooking, we like to, um, you know, go out to eat, go out for drinks sometimes. And so that can get a little expensive if you don't watch it. So we have to, you know, account for, you know, certain things like that and be reasonable about a budget or a, an amount that you would like to do for that week. So I think for us, that's a... Um, that's a definite thing to consider. I agree with that. That's that's enough for now. But yeah, like I said, if you want to see more about or hear more or learn more about how we budget as a couple um, and manage our finances, just let us know in the comments uh, here that we might put out a new video just about that topic. stuff and content creation I'm all over the place unless I write it down so I have a digital planner that I use on my iPad to keep up with my day-to-day -day. Um, also use task managers for work like Asana um, and Notion to make sure that we're well coordinated and 
keep up with everything so nothing falls apart. Um, so I'm about to fill in my planner right now with Monday's to-dos, like all the tasks and everything that I need to do tomorrow. Um, and I used the template from Flourish Planner, which I got off of Etsy. Um, we just got digital planners or iPads that allow us to use like the Apple Pencil this year. And my, I have a case for my Apple Pencil because I lost my Apple Pencil um, a while ago, the one that came directly from Apple. So I have a third party Apple Pencil, but it's much better um, in my opinion. So, so yeah, so I'm gonna fill in my planner with my to-dos and everything for the week. The dishwasher is <laughs> loaded and running in the background. And yeah, and Ricky does the same thing. Um, I think uh, <laughs> works on putting his day together, but his days and my days are a little different, right? Because I work from home, um, so I try to accomplish a lot more in the day, like home chores and tasks. So, um, so yeah, so I'm about to fill in my planner uh, so I can know what I need to focus on for tomorrow. Beans are still over there, working on the red beans. So dinner's almost ready, by the way. Can't wait, it smells so good. Um, Ricky is gonna add some sausage to his red beans whenever they get closer to finish. So he already prepped those and those are sitting there. But I wanted to give you all a look at what my digital planner looks like on my iPad. Um, like I said, I got this from Flourish Planner uh, off of Etsy, which I can link to. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had a, a physical paper planner, like a book, and I have a whole collection of those. But I'm trying to reduce my waste, so this was a good alternative for me. And I haven't filled this in, I'm probably going to do that privately because I got a lot of private stuff going on. So I'm back to the beans, and they're almost, they're pretty much done, but I'm going to add some seasoning. But the trick to the creaminess is not just smashing the beans on the side of the pot, which, you know, is obviously an old time trick, but um, dropping about a half a stick of butter in there. I'm using plant butter for obvious reasons, but that's how we get our beans to be extra creamy around here. So yeah, um, they're looking good though and smelling great. All right guys, dinner is finally ready. Um, Ricky just wrapping up the rice, getting the rice ready in the Instant Pot. And my red beans came out great. They smell great, they taste great so far. Also made some um, vegan cornbread and Ricky uh, put together some sausage for him. Not for me, but um, but yeah, so that will conclude this video. <laughs> that concludes this video, um, because after that, we're about to make our plates and then sit down and eat, watch our shows, watch TV. Sunday night means Married to Medicine, Real Housewives of Potomac. I know there's something else. Yeah, if you like this video, if you like these this day in the life content videos, let us know. We can make some more. I know we suggested a couple of other things throughout the course of this video too. So um, let us know if you're feeling it. But don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Next week. Next time. <laughs>